What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Torrance. First things first, I want to give a shout out to my shirt all crazy. First things first, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers because we know film ain't never going to die. Yo, but this week, we talked about this, but now we're going to talk about the film session for the Wayside editorial photo shoot. All right, let's get into it. So y'all been doing these film sessions for a while now. If you don't know what it is, um, I got a playlist with all the film sessions in there. You guys can check that out. Um, it has the first film session where I fully explain what a film session is. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. The equipment I use, the same equipment I'm always using. My Mamiya RB67. Um, I'm using the same lens I always use, the 60 and the 90 millimeter. I didn't bust out the 180. Didn't, didn't need it. Man, I forgot what film I used. Oh, I used the Portrait 400. Same film I always use. How'd I forget? Okay, let's start with the good. First of all, this shoot was published in a magazine. So that's just, bang, that's good. That's like home run good. You know what I'm saying? That's like big boy eating at buffet good. Like, mm-mm, good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Another thing that was mm-mm good was the stylist. She hooked the boy up. I mean, when she came on location, she not only had the wardrobe, she had props, y'all. Um, it was once, it was one of the looks I didn't get to, and I'll explain that in the hardship, but she had props. I mean, she had the baby breath. She had, she had a satchel of apples. I didn't get to use them. I'm so mad I didn't get to use the satchel of apples because I couldn't get to that look, but we'll talk about that. Another good thing was having my buddy Jeff there um, we had turned this into a natural light shoot, and yo, he came through, he performed, man, and I really thank, I really thank him for that. And last but not least, the best good thing, another mm -mm good, good boy, mm boy, was the model, Amadi Allen. So those are most definitely good. So now let's get into the hardships. I know this is this is what y'all really come, because this is where I learn and you learn too. Um, the hardships for me was, for one, it was hot as hell this day. I mean, it, we, this shoot was at 10 a.m., y'all, and it was like 85 degrees, probably 90 at 10 a.m., and we just all looking at each other on location like, what is going on? Why is the sun so hot at 10 a.m.? That was the first hardship. Um, the second hardship was that, for some reason, my strobe stopped working at the time. Uh, I thought it was a strobe itself, but I found out that it was actually the wire. When I say when I say it's the wire, I mean the PC sync cable. Uh, so now I know keep two of them with me, because one of them might just go bad. But luckily, I had my reflector and I had my buddy Jeff. This dude, I'm telling you, man, he's the goat with the <laughs> with the reflector. I mean, the goat, the whole goat. But those are the two main hardships. The last hardship was because of the the heat. Uh, I slated the this, this shoot for two hours, but by the time we got through the third look, and I knew once we got to a third look, I could potentially, you know, publish it. Um, it was just out of the question to do the fourth look, y'all. It was, you you have to be able to, as a creative director, um, if you want to wear the same hat as creative director photographer, you have to be able to tell, like, when you just got to pull the plug. And this was one of the times that I had to pull the plug. It was way too hot outside. We didn't have shelter. I was sweating, model was sweating, everybody was just soaked. I mean, it was almost like I took a bath. Um, but yeah, so that, so the fourth look with the satchel apples, I couldn't do it. I, I really wanted to, but, and, and honestly, I asked my stylist before I pulled the plug, I was like, hey, would you hate me if we don't get to that last look? And she was like, no, because it was just that damn hot outside. <laughs> I just want to talk about what what was the goal for this shoot. 
Uh, I created a mood board that I said vintage meets outdoors type of thing. Um, I wanted something that was very vintage, um, almost like that 30s, 40s type look, but out in the wilderness. Um, and I really like the dainty look with gloves or hats and things like that. Um, and I like the mix of nature. So I really wanted to mix those two things. It's things that I personally like. I always try to add a little bit of my personality into my photos. Um, so that was the goal for it. And I found this place, we were down in Manassas, Virginia. Uh, we were at the Manassas Battlefield Park. Um, and it was it was pretty cool. You know, found, found some, I actually found three locations and one small little location. So learn how to work those locations and you'll be solid. All right. Okay, so here's the one part of the film session that I love the most. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys like it too. But if this isn't your favorite shot, y'all let me know. But my favorite shot of this whole shoot is this shot right here. And I'm so glad it made the magazine. I mean, the double exposure. I mean, this is, I was hoping to see it here, but it's cool. This right here, this right here, son. This is, yo, this is deaf. Like, when you see this, you just, you just die. Like, oh man, this, this, is, this is amazing. So yeah. This, this is my shot. This is my favorite shot. I, I just love it. Um, and I'm so happy about it. So this, this is most definitely gonna be printed, large scale, all that good stuff. So that's my favorite shot. But hey, y'all, thanks for checking out, you know, my film session, checking out the video. You know, and I always say, get your film camera and shoot.